Hey guys, what's up? Mike here with a Photoshop tutorial. And no, I was not spark noting the answers. God, get out of here. Um, today, um, I was just making, I was thinking about making a new PSN name, and I decided just to put it in Photoshop and fool around with something. And I came out with this, and I thought that would look pretty cool on a desktop or something, something similar to that. So, let's start off making a new document, or a new whatever, a canvas. And let's expand that a little bit. Alright. Make a text layer. We'll do it the same. Oops. X. No, how do I have it? X. Mike 200x. Tell me, tell me what you, tell me what you guys think. If I should make it something like that or whatever, and just pretty much center it a little above the center point, and that looks pretty good. So let's duplicate that layer and edit transform vertical, and we'll put it. Don't touch the letters as Yeah, don't don't touch them. But get them as close as you can as possible and line them up. Alright, so highlight both of them, right click, raterize type, and then select the bottom one. Here let's bottom oops. Bottom top. Select the bottom one. Select the rectangle tool and set your feather to about 70 and go just near the bottom like that and hit delete a bunch of times until you think it's appropriate. I think that looks pretty good. Thanks. That looks good. Alright, so after that we're going to select the top layer double click on it, go to your layer properties, we want drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, and contour. <clears throat> Alright, so drop shadow, let's see, set it to 50 distance, 50 size. Inner shadow, we're going to do the same thing. So now we're a little better. Outer glow, change it to white. We don't want that yellow, it'd look better white. And then go to contour and select the this one, the upper right Gaussian. And that looks pretty good. So now it's looking a little plain. Actually, wait, hang on. Go to copy layer style and paste it to the bottom layer. And there we go. This is looking a little uh, plain to me, so we're going to select our gradient tool and have it going from black to white and just put it on there. And that'll, that'll give it a little bit of background in contrast to the white and sort of fade it in or fade it out. And it gives for good transition. So subscribe for more tutorials, post in the comments if you like this tutorial and if you want a tutorial on anything else. So uh, until then, see you guys next time. Peace out.